A prayer for peace when you're having a hard time pausing. Written and read by Carrie Eichberger. 1 Samuel 12, 16 says, Now then, stand still and see this great thing the Lord is about to do before your eyes. There's something I don't always like to admit, but truth be told, I'm a get stuff done kind of girl. I try to take matters into my own hands in hopes of moving toward making things happen. Because when I know what I want or think I need, it just seems natural to me to start stepping, sometimes running, in the direction that appears will get me there. Like the time I had a miscarriage in my mid-twenties and was absolutely relentless to get pregnant again. Or my post-college single season when I lived desperately to find a husband. Or a more recent lingering phase, a couple of years ago, when I just knew God was calling me to write my first book and I hardly even exhaled until I landed a publisher, then continued the breathless racing through pushing the message out into the world. Honestly, my anxious or eager energy can consume and control any given day when tasks my to-do list are lingering. As a Christian, this is quite embarrassing to confess. Because all this craziness sure does scream, I believe I am in control of my life. Even though my heart and soul know, have known for a long time, and what you may also be thinking right now, girl, God is in control. And can you see the sweetness that's missing when striving sneaks in and consumes these situations? It's peace. Where is the peace in all this, right? But what about you? Can you remember a time when you had your heart set on something and felt an almost uncontrollable sense to make it happen? Maybe there's something right now, a result or an outcome, that you have your eyes on. And if you were honest, you'd say you've held the reins pretty tight and steady and haven't slowed down with Jesus to get his take on the best approach. And if you have stopped and consulted with the Lord, Maybe you're finding you forget to return your eyes to him again and again as anxious waves start to sweep over you and you try to run right past him. Consider this, when your peace begins to deplete, do you pause and seek a restoration of God's refreshment and direction? I'll admit I've come a long way, but I still have a hard time pausing my hurried hands and surrendering to God's plans. I long for peace more than most things, though. And I'm not referring to the peace the world promises, that it can never fully provide. I'm talking about God's permeating peace, lingering, lasting peace of the soul. That's what I long for. And no surprise, I suppose, for someone who struggles to slow down. I bet you yearn for peace, too. Sure you do. I believe God created us this way to deepen our need for Him, to deepen our dependence on Him, to deepen our relationship with Him. Friends, I'm learning more and more with each passing season of striving and struggle that our good, sovereign God is most certainly in control of every detail of everything that surrounds us, everything we want, and everything we're working toward. That means if you feel that lack of or longing for peace like I often do, We both should slow down and see Him in our situation. Slow down and affirm our trust in Him. Slow down and trust His almighty plan and purpose that will always prevail. Slow down, rest, and receive Him. Pause right now with me and receive His peace. Let's pray. Trustworthy Lord, You are sovereign over all things. You alone hold the power of my present, my future, and every single detail of what I do and what will happen to me. And your plans are always oh so good. How thankful I am that you have me and everything all around me in your perfect hands. Help me to still my heart and slow down with you in your constant care. 
Help me release my striving, my agendas, my desires, all of it to you. Trusting that you are who you say you are. Trustworthy, faithful, all-powerful, ever-present. I want to let your character, your truths, and your precious promises penetrate deeply into the recesses of my soul. Lord, you are the Prince of Peace, and I praise you. Your peace is the perfect gift and blessing, especially when I have a hard time pausing. But help me to do just that, to pause in your peace at this very moment and to keep returning again and again. You are always right with me. Your peace is always available to me. I thank you and I love you. In your son's bountiful name, amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.